Hello beautiful ones and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that summer is fast approaching. I live about five minutes from the beach and recently returned from vacation in Puerto Rico. So I thought it might be interesting to show you what I've changed about my beach style this year in order to look elegant on the beach versus in summer's past. So yes, in this video, I'm not only going to show you what I picked out and styled for this year to wear to the beach, but we will also take a look at the way that I used to present myself for a beach day or an entire vacation spent at the beach in years past. I will also share some thoughts with you that you may find helpful as you work on continuing your transformation this summer too, especially for those of us who love to spend time on the beach. And just a quick heads up that I did decide to share some bikini footage in this video, so this one's probably not the best to watch if you're at work. If you haven't had a chance to get caught up on last week's video, that one's a better pick as it's about how to find friends to level up with. I'll link it right here on the screen. Okay, disclaimer out of the way, now let's get started. To start off, we are going to go back to our vacation in Jamaica in 2019, long before I ever thought about leveling up. I was working on my career, trying to keep fit, stop feeling anxious all the time, and that sort of thing. However, elegance and being a feminine woman was not a concern of mine. I actually made some vacation videos on that trip, so I have the perfect example to show you of my previous style and appearance. Yes, this is the typical Leisha not leveling up beach style. I loved cut off Levi shorts with a bikini, some kind of sarong perhaps, and of course hair up in a messy bun. This was my standard style. I really disliked spending a lot of effort on the way that I looked. Doing an intense glam session before going out to get sweaty and swim in the ocean made no sense to me. Once I decided that I wanted to look more elegant and feminine on the beach, I did discover that style can do a lot for you, as you'll hopefully see that I did start to improve upon this year. Now I will show you how this year I plan to look elegant on the beach. For an elegant look on the beach, I am working with a few different principles for style that you might notice as I show you a few of my new styles that look much more elegant here. Number one, this year I'm going to aim to always bring along a chic sun hat and a quality pair of sunglasses. Number two, I plan to use cover-ups in order to elevate my looks. Number three, swimsuits in my wow colors and with a bit more coverage will be a part of my summer style for the beach. I am not against bikinis, ladies, but there are some that I think have a more elegant cut or feminine details that I have added to my wardrobe. This white bikini here is one that I have shared on Instagram before, as it was one of the first bikinis that I added last summer after starting my transformation. Number four, I plan to use a light BB cream. Mine has SPF in it in order to cover up any imperfections on my face, but not be too overdone and wear a waterproof mascara for a simple yet polished face. Number five, this year I plan on wearing sandals more instead of flip-flops that I would let go way beyond the time that they should have been thrown in the trash can. As you know, my mantra for this year is simple is feminine. So I've decided to stick to these five things for an elegant look at the beach for now. I know I'm not quite the fashion expert just yet, but I am really happy with what I've been able to upgrade so far. I think sticking with these five principles will actually help me to go a long way, as well as not get overwhelmed when it comes to feeling confident, enjoying my day, and looking elegant at the beach. So what do you think? I would love to hear your comments down below about looking elegant at the beach. What are some items that you plan to add to your wardrobe for the summer? As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of my journey. I do have a Q&A video that I will be uploading this week. It is all about how to level up your career and income based on my personal experience. I really enjoyed reading all of your 
your questions over on Instagram. So if you have not connected with me on Instagram yet, please request to follow and send me a message. Just say hello. I always try to get back to as many messages as I possibly can. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.